general purpose clutches from Agora are used in a variety of rotating implement applications that are usually driven by gas or diesel engines. General purpose clutches can be provided with either a pulley or a universal mounting flange to mount a sprocket, coupling adapter, or a customer's specialized pulley. To simulate mounting on an engine shaft, we are holding a shaft in a vise. Most small general purpose clutches are a two-piece construction, which means that the field rotor is separate from the armature pulley. Clutch outputs are either a machined pulley or a universal mount flange. Most engine shafts have a radius on the shaft, so a washer or a spacer with a beveled bore to avoid the radius is required. The washers need to contact the face of the step in the engine shaft and the face of the inner bearing race on the clutch. They can be larger than the bearing inner race since the seal on the bearing is recessed. After the washer is installed on the shaft, insert the key. The field bearing inner race on the small clutches will contact the bearing race if a standard key is used. This can be accomplished by grinding down standard key stock. Once the key is installed, slide the clutch field rotor in place. General purpose clutches are unidirectional. Clutches should be mounted so that the springs are pulling on the armature. The clutch shown operates counterclockwise. The hub in the armature pulley does not transmit torque and does not have the key passing through it. The hub is also designed to set the proper air gap between the armature and the rotor. The pulley or hub side of the clutch also requires that contact be made against the face of the bearing inner race and not the inner hub. Like the field side of the clutch, the washer used on the pulley side bearing can be larger than the bearing race. Slide the armature pulley onto the shaft. Place the washer in the proper position. Insert the bolt with thread locking adhesive and tighten down to the recommended torque on the bolt you are using, typically 30 to 60 pound-feet. The torque tab on the back of the clutch needs to be loosely restrained. It is very important to have approximately an eighth of an inch of axial and radial movement to prevent field bearing damage. General purpose clutches come with a variety of terminal options. The clutch coil is not polarized, so it doesn't matter to the clutch which is positive or negative. Prior to connecting the clutch to the power source, make sure the engine is not running and the clutch switch is in the disengaged mode. To achieve full torque, new clutches need to have an initial wear-in period. Depending upon inertia and speed, the wear-in period can be anywhere from 30 to 100 engagements. Burnishing should be done at a reduced RPM and at a reduced clutch load. For high inertia loads, do not cycle the clutch more than four times per minute.